Master School Dances. Uh, I want to tell you about one of the best things that we've ever bought for not only schools, but for some of our higher end weddings. Uh, before I go over it, which is pretty obvious what it is, one of the problems is mobile DJs is that equipment and technology is quickly changing. I mean, you're all, you guys are all noticing controllers, lights, LEDs, you know, as soon as you buy something, it's outdated. And it's been like that forever. When you think about computers, you know, oh, I bought the brand new thing. Oh, it's outdated five seconds later. Cars, everything else. And in our business, it's pretty much true for everything we buy, except one thing, and that's trusting. So trusting is great because we can buy lots and lots of it, and it's not like the next day some new technology is going to come out that's going to radically drop the price of trusting or something like that. I mean, trusting, for the most part, has been the same price as long as I can remember, give or take a little bit, and it doesn't depreciate in value. But the great thing about it is, is it makes money. Uh, I mean, before we discuss the money part of it, let's talk about some of the benefits of trusting. You could do a setup with T-stands. I mean, I've done them before, mostly because the client had a low budget. But for my other things, man, it is so much easier to hoist up trusting than having to put a whole bunch of lights in a T-stand, having to clean all the wires up, make everything nice and pretty. Let me tell you something. I don't know if you ever tried getting, you know, search protector and eight lights and wires and everything all nice and pretty. It's not fun. I mean, you know, that may make an easier breakdown, but it's not fun to clean up. That takes a lot of time. And the presentation isn't as impressive. I mean, let's break it down on setup alone. Let's say that I use two of the ST132s, which are by Global Trust. It's the crank stands, medium duty crank stands. And, you know, we have the little T stand adapter. And we hold, let's say, for example, four per side of these super awesome QWH5s. And maybe a couple lasers underneath, right? I mean, yeah, the live shows are going to look impressive, whether it's, yeah, so or will look impressive on the floor, whether it's on T-stands or on trussing, but what looks impressive when you walk in? When a student walks in and the teachers walk in, are they going to be impressed more with the DJ that has two giant tripods or trussing overhead? Now, that being said, yeah, it's the exact same live show, and I can argue that, but I can't charge more for a system with two crank stands and that's it. Whereas when you have the crank stands and the trussing, it makes your setup look bigger, it makes it look more impressive, and it allows you to sell it for more. Now, let's talk about the money thing. Let's jump forward for a bit about that. Some of our setups that are between $5,000, you know, let's say a $5,000 setup, right, and then we have a $10,000 setup. It may have the exact same light show. The difference may be a video screen or maybe a couple extra speakers, but the number one difference between our regular size rigs and our bigger size rigs is the amount of trust that we bring out. Why? Because trusting changed the whole experience. You know, our most popular, you know, middle ground package is the Showstopper series, which we have, you know, 20 feet of trusting on two ST132s, and it's got a really nice, impressive light show with two video screens in between. But schools are paying, you know, willing to pay a lot more when we can change the experience and not just the look. I mean the whole experience when we have trussing overhead where the students are dancing. So as people walk in, they're dancing underneath the trussing. The lights are directly over them. It changes the whole thing. I mean, when you have lights over the DJ setup with basic truss setup, yeah, it looks more impressive. You can crank it way up in the air and it looks awesome. But let's say when you have lights like the American DJ Aki UFO or when you have a disco ball or the Spherion, you know, the Trial ED or the w HLED, whichever model you get, and you have that in the middle of the floor with floods going all the way around, with you know just lights going everywhere over the students' heads, it changes the whole experience. The exact same amount of lights as if you had trussing overhead, but now you're spreading out the lights, you're making the light show look better, and the trussing, here's the best part, people, the trussing is what the schools are going to pay for because it makes the setup look bigger. You can do more with it. Okay, you could do like, for example, lighting over the student's heads, even if it's just, you know, a big, long, 20, 40 foot stick. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people that are doing that, you know, over themselves or over the dance floor, or they do an X or they do a circle. There's a whole bunch of really cool stuff that you can do. But then maybe you put trussing behind you and you stretch a giant piece of standex. So it's like your own personal little DJ area. I mean, there's some really cool things you can do. Uh, there's a drape company in Orlando and they sell these giant holographic type circles. There's clubs here, they have trussing behind the DJ with these giant holographic circles behind them. Again, it creates a whole new experience. And then the other cool thing is it's not just for school dances. Now we're getting more and more weddings where they're like, we want trussing, we want it to look elegant, but we want it to look nightclubbish. Now I had a New Year's Eve wedding. Check this out, right? This is a gym. Look at it very carefully. This is a church gym. What's making it impressive? You know, we have our up lights, we have our awesome, you know, um, 
projections that we use. We have the black lights. The black lights were done with the UV 16s, and we had the Mega 24s that we had lighting up the entire floor area. But we got the Global Truss, the uh, normal standard 12 inch box trussing that was all white. And this is something that always grabs everybody's attention. You know, they always, you know, some of the people here they're used to seeing the regular trussing, but not white trussing. And I know they also have black trussing too. It's something that grabs your attention. And we used, you know, we cranked it up with the ST 132s. Um, and the client kind of wanted the lights in and out of the floor. You just want to create a whole different experience. But what we did is, you know, we draped the ST 132 versus just doing a regular stick down because it fit the whole theme of everything. We had drapes going everywhere. It looked incredible. So again, that was another option that we did. Uh, also, like in the photo you see here, we've used our white global truss to hang video screens from. This photo's a few years old, uh, but again, the concept's still the same. You can use, you know, bigger TVs. Obviously, have bigger TVs now than they did a few years back, you know, with one of the big bases. Uh, the other great thing I love about the trussing is sometimes, you know, we experiment, and thanks to the amount of trussing that we have, we can do some really cool things. Like here's a photo of a prom that we did. It was a small prom. This is a first year school. They had no seniors, juniors only. So they didn't want to invest in huge screens, so we just got two of the small, you know, eight-foot screens. But because of the truss setup that we had, we just quickly attached the screens to either side of the trussing, and it still made it look more impressive. If the screens were floor standing, there's no way it would have looked as cool as it did there. It made a almost like a cool like wall in between where I was set up. That was one of like my favorite, you know, quick, easy setups. The great thing about it is because we had these on the ST132s. As soon as we were done, we quickly cranked it down and we just took the screens, lights down quickly and easily. Now, another thing I love about trussing from our perspective, not just the client's perspective, is it's a lot cleaner. Now, the clients may not notice these little wires when it's cranked up that high, whether it's a T-stand or a truss, but I notice it. And it's also easier to diagnose. Maybe, you know, after we hook everything up, halfway through, there's a problem with one of the wires. If it was a huge jumble mess, it would be impossible to tell what's what because the weight, you know, we lay out our trussing, all our wires, our power and data lays on the top, and then our S video cable or any kind of video cable lays on the bottom just to avoid any, any interference or such. But it's a lot easier to keep things clean that way. And I also feel better knowing that I'm running a safer rig. You know what I mean? There are tons of different options to hang lights from there. Nothing out there is the safest truss. You know what I mean? You can't overdo it on trussing, but it takes a lot for a mobile DJ to overdo it on trussing. If you look at the specs of Global Trust, they can hold a lot of weight. You know, we've done push-ups, pull-ups, we've jumped on them. You know, everything we can do to see how much uh, torture they can take. And they can take quite a bit of abuse. But, you know, you can't put as much weight on a single T-stand or on the regular, you know, flat beam type trussing that's, you know, made out of, like, metal and plastic. The other cool thing I like about trussing is it's lightweight. It's one of the most lightweight options to make your setup look, you know, huge. Yes, you know, we do video screens, we do huge light setups and all that, but trussing is easy to set up. You know, it's put the trussing together, you put your little nipples, pins, cotter pins together, it takes a few minutes to put it apart, and you have this huge rig, right? Here's a 35 by 35, and it took a couple of us to basically lift it up on one side, and we had two people lift it up on the other side on the stands. We raised it all the way up. We put the uh, totems or the poles, you know, the vertical um, uh, truss underneath. We locked it in. It was simple. And when the client walked in, they're like, you know, they said it was the most absolutely amazing thing they've ever seen as far as the setup. Uh, other people who walked into the, from the hotel just love the setup. They didn't notice each individual light. Oh, I see you have this and this number of lights. That's not what people are paying for. They're not paying for the number of lights you have. They're paying for the final show. And your final show not only can look bigger, but the entire experience can be changed just from when you lay out the trussing. So if you have not invested in trussing, that is the number one thing, especially if you're getting into school dances. The very first thing you need to invest in after, you know, sound ring that, you know, can actually, what's it called? Sound ring that will actually handle the number of students that are going to be there. The very first thing you should worry about is trussing because it can take the simplest slideshow and completely change the experience, not the look. I'm using a strong word here, the experience. And again, trussing's fun too. Doesn't depreciate in value, which is nice. You know, it's not like the next day, oh no, my trussing's only worth half the price. You know, I mean, lights, projectors, everything else changes throughout. Trussing's always the same. Last tip, when you're buying from Global Truss or any kind of trussing manufacturer, you always stay with that manufacturer. Sure, there's companies out there that, you know, may be compatible with Global Trust. I'm not risking it. I'm staying with a brand that I know and that I trust. And we've been using Global Trust for years. We love their stuff. For, you know, for us being a mobile DJ and mobile production company for school events, 
Global Trust is the best price point. I mean, we just haven't seen anything that beats that price for the value that we get and the huge amount of supply. I mean, not just the trussing, they have a ton of other cool things that you can add on to the trussing. So again, gotta check it all out. Global Trust is what we use, the ST132 stands. They got a lot more stands too. I could sit there and talk about this for hours or whatnot. But again, my name's Arnaldo Offerman with Master School Dances, and that was my tip of the week. Trussing, get it, it rocks. Look up the white and black stuff. Thanks.